I got something to tell you, girl. I got something I want to do. Come on. I, I got something to tell you. I want to, you know what? You know what? Holla at him. Out in stores right now. Go pick it up. Got some crazy ideas right now. Yeah. The reason I call the album director is because I wanted the young kids to direct their lives in, in a positive direction because we're really raising ourselves nowadays, you know? This little album, you know what I mean? We're doing it real big. You got a Tracy McGrady shirt, you dig? Yo, it's all about the little kids. We out here to support my little people, you feel me? Hey, continue to do good in school, man, all right? All right. I love one. It has a lot of different feels on the album. Uh, it's not just all about, you know, the, the hood. It has all type of vibes on it, love vibes, um, you know, little poppy feels to it. I just try to make a complete album, you feel me? You know what, I, I took off for like a, a year and a half, man, just, just to make sure this project is right. This album, I spread it out, I got different producers. I got Jermaine Dupri, I got the underdogs, I got Brian Michael Cox. My first single, You Know What, uh, was a special little collaboration between me, Jermaine Dupri, and Lil Wayne. Uh, it was kind of crazy how it, it worked out. Because uh, Jermaine Dupree, I always wanted to work with him, so he called me up like, yo, I'm free, man, let's go, let's make, let's make music. When the studio, we had to feel each other's vibe out. You know, like I said before, I, I, I had only worked with one producer, my man Steve Huff. So it was kind of weird, you know, going in and, and seeing how another man do his business. But, um, yo, the marriage was perfect. You know, uh, JD, he let me, he made me feel comfortable. I made him feel comfortable. Trust and believe. I didn't let y'all down. It's real. It's you, real. you never it's let us down serious. yet, dog. You I found your that. you found your way inside of R&B. All that crazy stuff, right? Right, and and found your own lane, and has maintained your lane from day one. But you know what really feel good, though, Ed, man? To walk down the streets of New York and have people say, "Man, I miss you, dude. I need your record." You know, I done another joint with um, the second single, uh, Four Minutes. Slow down. Listen, give me 10 minutes. Well, well give me five minutes. All right, but before you leave, I just need these last four minutes. With the underdogs, man, it was off the chain. You know, I go in there, these guys are extremely musical. Um, they had so many hits uh, out already before they even got to me. And I just went in there and told Harv, I'm like, Harv, I need something different, man. I want to I wanna hit them real hard and different this time. So he went uh, back in the... And in, um, in the other room, it was like, yo, I got this track, man. I don't know how you gonna feel about it, but it's got the clock ticking throughout the whole song. I'm like, whoa, that's definitely different. That's definitely me. So um, he was like, I'm gonna let you sit with it and vibe with it. And he told me like, yo, I got this hook. It's called Four Minutes. And he sung the hook to me and I was like, oh my God, this is berserk. So I just went in there and did my verses and did get, just gave it the Avant flavor. And from that point on, it, it became a mega, mega smash. And I thank y'all for supporting me and loving what I do and making it what it is because I try to make records that's real to the people, that's normal. You feel what I'm saying? So I thank y'all for, for really seeing my vision. When I came in the game, and it was 2000, and it was heavy hitters everywhere. Yeah. And I was all on my own. But guess who's still here? And I see people falling by the west wayside. You yeah, know? absolutely. You didn't come in with no crew. Nah, I didn't. didn't. Nobody pulled you up and said, "This is Avant. He's part of our clique." <laughs> right. You know, and it's just a clickish game. Yeah, sometimes. it is. It truly is. Nasty yeah. clickish yeah. game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And then people get pushed to the forefront that don't really have talent because they in some clique. Exactly. But you came through. You was on Magic Johnson music first. Yes. Brought you out. People who had things to say. Oh, he's trying Preach. to be R. Kelly. Preach. He's trying to Preach. Do this, but you found your road, dog. I'm here. Baby, <laughs> you found your role. Yo, it's, it's very important for people to understand. Like I tell them all the time, they say, "Well, what's what's the key to staying in the game? You gotta be consistent, man. You gotta show persistence, dude. Look, I challenge all these young cats. I, I know it's a lot of new young talent in the game, yes, sir. like Neo, yeah. uh, Trey Songs. Yes, sir. I challenge you to be consistent, man. This is what the people going. They 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 love you for being consistent, and that's just real.